21st, I'm thinking. But I'm checking in with you guys in the building. And I wanted to do a video on, in honor of Black History Month, um, I actually got the idea from Local Black Child. I'll leave the link down to the actual video below in her channel. Check her out. She is so dope and original. Um, so this is a span off of her video. And basically, I want to do in honor of Black History Month, the top ads questions about Black people. <laughs> And it's going to be 10 of them. So get your drink, get whatever you need to get. Let's get it. And yes, my question is on the back of my CVS car. Don't judge me. This is another um, resourceful thing with my coupons because it's just, it's paper and it was waiting. So, yes. Number one, can black people tan? Um, yeah, we tan. Um, generally, if you have a brown to dark complexion, if you're more melanated, you don't generally want to tan. We actually don't want to be in the sun. Like, we come out when the sun goes down, okay? Uh, that's why we are, um, normally deficient with vitamin D because we really don't like to be outside when the sun is. But for the lighter complexions, they tan a lot, okay? So yes, black people can tan. Um, we also use SPF lotion because we can get tan, um, sunburn too. So skin is skin. Um, it's just the difference of the pigment. That's it. <clears throat> Number two, is that your real hair? If it's human, yes, it is real hair. Don't ever ask me that. I bought it. Yup. Can I touch your hair? Do not ever ask a black person, can you touch their hair? Don't ever do that. Those are fighting words, sweetie. Um, if a person tells you, hey, touch it, that's when you can touch it, but you never ask or proactively try to touch their hair. That's fighting words, like period. Don't do that, ever. Um, number four, do you prefer to be called black or African-American? I really don't care but when i refer to myself i just say i'm black um number five i don't know what they doing but yeah um number five if the n-word is so horrible why is it still used like in conversations rap videos music and all of that other stuff um, we can use that word because it's a word of endearment. I don't think it's a, oh my gosh, we can't say that. But it's kind of like a brotherly, sisterly type of thing, family type of thing within the black community. That's why we say it. It's our word. <laughs> um, if the N word is used in songs, can I sing it or should I censor it? When you at home by yourself, you can sing whatever you want to sing. Like, because we're not going to hear it. But... I'm public around, you know, the public. Censor it. Number seven. Why do you talk differently when you go to friends and family other than when you do the work? Um, I don't know. I feel like this was learned by my mom. I used to see her, like, when she used to be on the phone um, with, like, companies taking care of business, errands and things like that. Opposed to when she came home, I'm like, Mom, why are you changing up? Like, why are you changing up how you sound? And she explained to me, like, the reason why. Basically, her reason why was one is not necessarily um, bad over the other, but one is just professional, her professional voice. And the one is, the other one is her lax voice. That's the only difference. We're just trying to be professional in a professional environment. And then when you get off work, you're going to go right to your lags, okay? So, it, I don't even feel like it's a black people thing. I feel like everyone should do it. Like, when you're being professional, when you're at work, you want to put on that professional hat because you're at work and you're getting paid to be professional. Um, and then when you get off work, you know, you don't have to be. Just don't be in the news or embarrassing the company because you might get fired. <laughs> so, I don't feel like it's a black thing. Um... It's just a professionalism thing. Um, number eight. Why does the black community complain about racism so much? Slavery ended a long time ago. 
of course, this would be a, a question for somebody who doesn't deal with racism every day. But because, especially the black male in America, like, they deal with racism every day. I've dealt with racism. Um, if you don't really deal with racism in your everyday life, you're not going to think about it. It's not going to be as important to you. Um, but we think about it because we deal with it every day. Like, being pulled over and say you fit the description of a murderer, of a, a thief, having people follow you in the stores thinking that you're going to steal something because of the color of your skin, worrying if the police are going to come or not because you sound like a black person opposed to a white person or you're in a black community opposed to a white community. You know, it's really like, it's a daily struggle. Okay, so when you see this every single day, it's like, of course, we're going to go back to our root, roots and talk about it because we're dealing with it every day. So it is important to us. We need everyone to understand. And that's why we have our Black History Month because we want to know, like, we want everybody else to be enlightened about our history and know that it's not over. Maybe if it was over and we're not dealing with racism daily and people aren't getting killed for no reason other than them being Black, then we wouldn't talk about it as much you know because we would feel like we're being treated fairly so we wouldn't we wouldn't revert back to talking about slavery and going back into history um but because it's an everyday thing it's an everyday struggle we're going to continue to talk about it until it's not an issue anymore how do you number nine how do you feel about the gentrification um i don't feel anything wrong about gentrification i feel like you know for the low incomes um places it's good to build up your community um but as far as the people that were living there before i don't feel like you should just kick them out like i feel like you should give them a grant um you should offer them education if they're not fully educated like if they have disabilities allow them to live there for a certain amount of time um with a grant so that they can still enjoy their neighborhood um just pushing people out because you're a multi-million dollar or billion dollar company is not cool but i do believe in building up all of our neighborhoods so that everyone can be safe and have a healthy living environment number 10 how do you feel about other races wearing dreadlocks cornrows or braids i don't care <laughs> where would you get down you get down like i do not care like your hair is you. Your life is you. You're, we all living in our own world. So rock your hairstyle the way, however you feel. Like, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> so this is um, my video. This is the end of the video. Conclusion. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you like videos like this. I just had to say something about Black History Month. Talk about it. But those were the top 10 questions that I saw on Google, so that people had about black people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.